Welcome to this video series all about problematic. Today's video is going to focus on a quick overview of what problematic is and give you a sense of what you can do with it. So in a nutshell, problematic is your place to create tests and worksheets and just access a bank of questions. These questions come from a whole bunch of different sources and I will get into that in just a moment. Before we go any further, I do want to note that there is both a paid and a free version of Problematic. And while you can do so many things with the free version, there might be a couple of things that I show that are paid version only, and I will point that out to you as we get to them. If you want to see what is in each of them, you can take a look here at this website and it compares the difference. The main things are having to do with um, some extra test banks available for paid versions, some various extras in terms of having the system grade and present the tests and worksheets for you, and also editing any questions. So there are a handful of different things that you're gonna be able to create with Problematic. So you're going to be able to create one column test and worksheets, one column test and worksheets that have answer lines, two column test and worksheets, what they're calling overheads, but I mean, when was the last time anyone used an overhead projector, right? You can put these into a PowerPoint, um, a slides, interactive whiteboard, anything like that. Two by two flashcards, if you want two on a paper, maybe you want to print these out and give them to students. Same thing with this two by two. It provides some workspace, but then also gives them enough room to have a couple different questions on a page. You can also have these in calendar format, which might be interesting if you wanna have like a problem of the day, so you can have it done as a weekly calendar or as a monthly calendar. In terms of what you have access to, you can see here all of the different places where they are pulling test questions from. So all of the various state assessments that put their questions out, they pull out the New York State Regents exam separately, various US and international tests, academic competitions, now these two are paid things only. So Common Core, Teeks, um, and some other state aligned math questions, as well as AP questions, calculus stats, chemistry bio, and SAT. These also fall in the paid version. Lastly, the paid version also includes Spanish language math questions and reading passages. But even so, I still think you can do a lot with these free options here. Lastly, they have this hidden treasures section, which has some kind of like fun trivia and logic and kind of extra questions that could be fun to use with your students. With any of these, if you're interested in learning more about what's included, you can just click on this little I and it will tell you some more about what type of questions are included in that section. And you can always just click into a section to see some more about it. So that was your quick overview of what Problematic is. Next video, we'll go into how to select problems and some more about choosing the questions you want on your tests and worksheets.